It's time for Fiend Friday! For those of you that are new to this channel, my name's Jess, this is Shelby, this is Oakley, that is Memphis, and today is Fan Friday! Fan Friday is a day where we answer questions submitted by you guys! To leave a question, all you have to do is leave a comment down below using the hashtag AskGTTSD, and we just might answer one of your questions. Also, you guys, don't forget to hit that like button so that we keep making Fan Fridays. Show us that you like Fan Fridays by hitting that like button. And then share this video with your friends to help us grow the audience. Let's get into the questions. Oh my goodness, biggest yawn ever. That was a very large yawn. <laughs> First question of the day is from Jack Russell Way. And they wanna know, what is your opinion on raw feeding? Well, many years ago when I had Shiloh, we couldn't actually do raw feeding because Shiloh had a compromised immune system and a compromised digestive tract. So we were always worried that even though raw feeding can be very safe for dogs, we were always worried with Shiloh that something could happen because she had so many digestive issues. Um, but as for my opinion on raw feeding, you know, do your research. I feed my dogs raw food toppers they're like a dehydrated raw from time to time to give them a little bit of extra stuff. And Shelby and Memphis have had raw chicken wings before. I don't give them to Oakley because she's a super fast eater. Oh, did you get Was there a bug? She's a super fast eater and she like chomps her food super fast. So I'm afraid she actually will choke on it because they're bigger. Um, but Shelby and Memphis have both had raw before. My biggest tip for you guys on feeding raw though, please, 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 do your research. It is not something that everybody can do. It's not something everybody wants to do. There is no right or wrong answer. I'm not going to tell you that feeding raw is better than feeding kibble or feeding kibble is better than feeding raw. It is completely up to you. Get informed and form your own decision. Sounds like the neighbors are over there cutting a tree down. Florentina asks, is YouTube your full-time job and how does the YouTube crisis affect your channel, AKA the ads being pulled from videos? As of one year ago, if you guys are following us at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, you may already know this, but as of just over a year ago, yes, we are full-time YouTubers. We have this channel, we have our vlog channel at snowdogsvlogs, and then we have a gaming and toy channel at youtube.com slash arcade snowdogs. You can check all those out if you want to see more of the stuff that we do. Um, so yes, we are full-time YouTubers. We also have an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter. We work with different companies on brand deals and sponsorships and things like that. You see them here from time to time. Also, and pictures that we post ah! on our social media from time to time. Where's Miss Memphis? She's way back there. As for the YouTube ad crisis and is it affecting us, yes, we have taken a hit in our revenue from YouTube, just like pretty much every other YouTuber out there. Some of you have asked if we have a Patreon account that you can support us on. We have had a Patreon account for quite a while now. I will put a link up in the cards and down in the video description below if you guys are interested in checking that out. We do have different reward levels on there. If you do, oh, they're gonna play. If you do uh, support us on Patreon, we try to give back you know, little different things as well, like early access to photos and video clips and things like that. There's a secret audience group level, things like that. But anyway, you can go check that out if you want. So yes, the adpocalypse has affected us. It has not affected us as bad as it has other channels. We try to keep our channel very family friendly. All of our channels are very family friendly. So we haven't been hurt too bad, but as every other YouTuber out there, we have taken a hit as well. But we're okay, don't worry about us. We'll be, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Carl G wants to know if we ever go on vacations with our dogs that are just a few hours away and if we ever go on vacations without our dogs. Uh, very rarely do we travel without our dogs. We are going to VidCon this year again in California and sadly we cannot take the dogs to that. And as for going on trips just a few hours away, a lot of the camping trips you guys see us take are usually between eh, two hours away and nine hours away depending on where we're going. So yeah, we take close trips. We take trips that are a little bit further away. We're hoping this year to travel outside of where we normally do and take some trips that are even further away. I think that could be a lot of fun. Memphis is watching Shelby back there. She's like, I'm gonna get you. It's gonna happen. Philip wants to know if the quote unquote big shed for Huskies is actually a real thing. Uh, yes. Huskies experience what most people refer to as coat blow twice a year, at minimum twice a year. Sometimes it seems to happen three times a year, where they shed 
10 million times more than they shed the rest of the year. Huskies do shed 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every hour on the hour, every minute on the minute, every second on the second. No joke, they really do. But then there's a few times a year where they experience what we call coat blowing, where they literally shed so much, it's crazy. Those are usually the good times when it's, uh, when it's a good time to take your dog to an actual professional groomer and help get all that shedding off. We just use a blower. We used to take them to a professional groomer, but not so much anymore. <laughs> but yes, it does happen. Anybody down in the comments below that has a northern breed that has experienced coat blowing, tell your stories down below. Ping XL1 says, have your Huskies ever been in a movie or a TV series? Uh, our Huskies have actually been in, they were on, well, Shelby and Shiloh were on Bad Dog on Animal Planet. They've been on a couple of like blooper shows. Uh, they've been in a commercial. The, these three were in a commercial for Petco. So they have been on television from time to time. Not in a movie yet, but you know, maybe soon. They've been in, actually they were in a Pup Star commercial. They were in a Petco commercial. I think there was another like TV commercial they were in and I can't think of what it was. Our other dog that passed away, Shiloh, she was on a Michigan lottery ticket. Shelby was featured on a Bissell vacuum cleaner box, which was kind of cool. Maybe I'll make a playlist of all the videos that of the cool things that the dogs have been on, like their commercial stuff. So you guys can check those out. If I manage to pull that off, they'll be up in the cards. If not, just go to our channel and search for those things I just talked about. You should be able to find them. <gasps> We got some mayo, we got some mayo. You guys wanna see what we got? We got a bag of treats and a letter. Look, it says Jeep and it has all the dogs' names and Nightmare Before Christmas and this is from Hazel. And then we got a box of stuff from Regan. Some chewy treats. So, oh, look at, look at, look at. Here, you want this one? You take that one. Okay, I'll take the paper off of it in a minute. Okay, you, you take that one. You take that one. You want, do you want the strawberry? Does Shelby want a strawberry? Yep, yep, Shelby tastes a strawberry. Memphis, do you want this one? <laughs> She's like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you, get, you got it, Oakley? And that one's going in the kennel. <laughs> Thanks, Regan. I got a Mother's Day card from Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. I got a letter from Gail. I really hope I said your name right. With a picture of their new puppy, and I just want to say that your letter was amazing. Always stay positive and dream big and I tell you what, there's always something out there in life that will make you happy. And I tell you what, I think puppies are the best. Puppies are the best. Look at the face. Look at that face. You can't look at that face. Oakley's in there drinking water, but picture her face. Look at that face. Those faces will always make you happy. Unconditional love from your puppies. And we got a letter from Sarah with a drawing of the dogs. And Sarah lives in Michigan, just like we do. Do you guys want to say hi to Sage? We got a letter from Sage. Sage wrote us a little while ago. Sage actually had cancer and Sage wanted all the dogs to say hi. All the dogs say hi to Sage. Well, he's like, I'm, I'm chewing on this toy over here, guys. <laughs> we got a letter from Skye and check these out. I don't know where you found these, but they are awesome. Thank you so much. And we got some drawings of each of the dogs from Alexa. And a thank you card from Alex. And a card with some drawings of the dogs from Regan. There they are. Check that out. And there's a Shiloh. All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you did not do so yet, on Monday, we put up a Dogs React to Epa Riley video. And on Wednesday, we put up a celebrating 400,000 subscribers Howling Huskies giveaway video. We are giving away a Spirit Hood. Be sure to go check that video out and enter into the giveaway to try and win the spirit hood. We apparently are done filming outside because the neighbors are cutting down trees. You went back there and dug and I missed it. You totally did. Your face is dirty. The evidence is all over you. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, as always, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.